John in Anaheim. John, welcome. You're on the Tom Sullivan Show. Hi. Hi. You know, I, I, had, I have a small business. The economy is tanked. So is my business. Yep. I rented out my house to go live with my in-laws. I'm living in two rooms in a mobile home. Two months ago, I dropped my health insurance because I don't want to pay $900 a month. I can't afford it. Right. And in the Barkas bill, they're going to fine me and possibly send me to jail. Now, how much lunacy can there be in Washington? Um, That's crazy. I don't know where the constitutional lawyers are, but I hope that somebody has a lawsuit ready to go if this thing passes. And the problem is, as you know, the state mandates make it almost impossible to just buy catastrophic insurance. I have tried in three different states. You just can't get it. Really? Everything's I did not, not know these, that. I thought you could. These, no, no. You, you, you know, you cannot get a stripped-down policy. You cannot get just a policy that will protect you if you get, you know, have to go to the hospital with a heart attack or whatever. I mean, every, everything has got to be, you know. I'll give you an example. In Maryland... You can if you if I break my glasses in Maryland, my eyeglasses. Yeah. I want to go into Pearl Vision to get a new pair. They say no, you can't get. You have to have a test first. You have to have an eye test and spend two hundred dollars or whatever it costs before they will give you a new pair of glasses. Well, now who invented that? The state has a mandate. It's not uncovered in insurance, but it's uncovered in the state law that requires you to have a, an eye test. Well, who did that? The optometrist and ophthalmologist went to the state capitol, yes. and they said, make this happen. Yeah. Well, every, every interest group has done this, and consumer advocates have larded up these laws in each of the states to where you, and you can't, in most cases, get a stripped-down policy to where, hey, I don't mind paying 50 bucks or paying cash for the, a doctor visit, paying cash for uh, prescriptions. Just cover me when I've got a $25,000 bill. Yep. That's all. Yep. And you, but you can't get that. And, you know, they're not allowing uh, competition across state lines. The Democrats won't hear it. They won't hear about tort reform as you've talked. And this bill that they're talking about is a huge Trojan horse. Yes, the insurers are going to get all these new customers coming in. Yes, the cost is going to go way up. And as you mentioned, as soon as it gets higher than the 8% fine, the employers are going to dump the plan, yep. and then you're in. Then you're in the public option, and what's going to happen? The insurance industry is going to go out of business. And you'll be right where then-Senator Obama said he wanted to get, which is the Trojan horse, which is that's where we that's where they're heading. This is You can't get there right away, he said, but that's where we're going. And this, folks, we understand how to connect the lines between the dots.